Hello, everybody. Once again, my name is Nihal. I am from the Fitbook customer success team. I'll be your presenter today. This is another internal webinar that we conduct on a monthly basis to make sure that all of our trainers who are joining, the old trainers, the new trainers, everybody learn everything about our dashboard and get their queries answered and see how the dashboard will be helping them to make and run their online fitness business with the help of Fitbird CRM. So the content that we'll be discussing, this one will be quite the generic one because this is the most essential topics that I have always kept in mind to make sure that when I am proceeding with each step in the dashboard and explaining it to you guys, you will be connecting all the dots of what you are supposed to do and where you are supposed to begin with if you're starting. And for the old trainers, this will become a revision for you. And you can ask me questions that I will be answering right while we will be completing this webinar. Sure, Binay. Uh, most of my webinars have been conducted and you were a part of it. So yes, there is one essential topic that I will be discussing today. It will be the explore on demand. I have kept that particular feature in the end of the webinar. So I'll keep it short today at this point of time. I'll take 30 minutes to navigate you guys through the dashboard. Okay. And thereafter, I'll give you the coach app links and little insights of the coach app. There is another feature that we have introduced in the coach app now. I'll be discussing about that. And then I'll be jumping on the explore on demand feature that we have on our platform so that you can choose to use it for your online fitness business. So let's get started. Uh, to give you guys an introduction of our firm and our software, we have specifically designed our programs to make sure that all our personal fitness trainers, coaches, yoga coaches, speakers can use our CRM and the client app and the coach app interface to provide their businesses to their customers and help them to save a lot of time and also give them the reach so that they can reach out to as many numbers of clients as they can with the help of this particular software. We have three major important key interfaces. One will be the dashboard that I will be navigating right after this slide. The other one will be the coach app, which is the mobile version of the desktop, which is used for you, which, which is used for you so that you can connect with your customers through your in-app chat features or communicate with them or log their check-ins or log their workout if you are giving them in-person sessions. Moving ahead, I will be moving ahead with the navigation part wherein I'll be explaining you the details of the dashboard. The next screen that you will be seeing right now. A second. Will be the coach app. Here, the coach, the trainers will be using this particular dashboard to create your programs to create your workout programs, to create your pricing structures, to use this to assign these programs to your customers, to manage their workout schedules. And to make sure that you provide in-app communications with your customers. So how I've curated it is I'll be discussing about the pricing strategy, about the payment plans, so that you can create your pricing structure first for your business. And then I'll be giving you an overview of the fitness program section over here, where you will be creating your workout programs. Then I'll be moving ahead with the nutrition segment. Uh, 
Uh, can you can you guys see the screen right now? Let me one second. So sorry. Let me stop sharing and reshare it. I hope the screen is visible now. Perfect. Okay. So again, sorry for that technical issue. I curated this particular platform and the walkthrough of this particular uh, software in such a way that I'll be discussing about the pricing structure first. I'll be giving you a pricing strategy, how you will be starting to use this particular software for yourself. First, you will be creating your payment plans. Then I'll be moving ahead and discussing about the fitness segment, how you will be creating your workout programs. Then I'll be talking about the nutrition segment, where I'll be giving you the walkthrough of the features that are available for you to create your meal programs and meal plans. Then I'll be talking about how you can manage your clients, how you can assign your clients and how you can onboard your clients. And then I'll be talking about the rest of the features that we have that you can play around with, like the client app, so that you can custom theme your application completely. Then you have your onboarding form that you can customize for your customers so that you can learn about them and the other part of this particular platform. Then I'll be moving ahead with other segments. So without wasting any time, let us start with the payment plans. To begin with, in any business, you are supposed to start uh, strategizing your pricing structure and your programs that you will be selling off to your customers. For that, what we have done is we have created this very easy form for you, wherein you can create your programs the pricing names of it. Like for instance, we have provided you three samples already that you can learn from. For, for example, you can create a one-on-one -on -one personal training program. You can create a $0 program, which can be used as a freebie so that you can attract your audience. You can have a monthly subscription model so that you can charge your clients on a month-to-month -month basis. We have other subscription models as well. There are weekly, bi-weekly, six-weekly, six-monthly, quarterly, half-yearly, yearly. It's completely up to you. So you can strategize all these pricing options with the help of the payment plans. There is also one-time payment plan models that you can use to sell off simple one-time payment programs if you have any. To begin with, you simply need to click this plus icon in the bottom of your, bottom of your screen write the name of the program that will be displayed on your website and your applications. For example, let's say, get started 21 day challenge. The display name is for your customers to view on their side of the application or on the website. The reference name is for you to refer in the dashboard. You can write the description of your program, upload an a image of yours, which will make your plan look more aesthetic. Click on next, decide your pricing model. Since I termed it as 21 day Kickstarter, I'll keep it one time. If you were creating a monthly subscription, like, you know, month to month, uh, get started monthly training, something like that, then you can select a billing subscription of month to month basis. Decide the pricing structure, add free days in a subscription, enable the discount here. For instance, you can charge, you can use $250 as the show price, and then you can give them at 19.99. This will just attract your audience and give your program a little more value uh, so that your client will see that, okay, it's a $250 program, which you are actually giving in 99.99. I'll be using 21 day strategy. So I'll be selecting 21 days here in one time method. I'm not using a subscription model. Again, the same thing. I have just provided the right pricing here. Click on next. Decide the session details. If you have any one-on-one -on -one appointment, 
you can select anywhere from 15 minutes to 90 minutes and the number of appointments that you can have in total or per week or on a monthly basis. Once you have strategized this, you can click on next. We have an internal in-app feature from which you can have a one-on-one -on -one call with your customers. Your clients can communicate with you on, uh, on their application and you can communicate via your laptop or desktop or the coach app that I'll be introducing in the later part of this particular segment. You can write all of these details of what you are providing in this particular program, like 21 days transformation challenge, custom workouts, custom nutrition, 24-7 in-app communication, in-app chat feature, uh, in-app calling, one-to-one, -one. and what else if you can just strategize it so that it is more appealing for your clients. They read this particular thing for the very first time when they will be onboarding on your platform. So make sure that it is very scripts, it is very smooth for them to understand what all things you will be providing to your customers. Click on next and explain them how it works, like purchase the program within the next 24 to 48 hours. You will receive a workout schedule on your application. Uh, download the app. All of these details, just mention it, how it works. Click on save. The details for your understanding are provided in, the, in your samples already. Like this. You can enhance it more if you want to, okay? Once you save, a program like this will be visible. So this is all about your payment plans that you'll be creating. Now you can create as many programs as you want to. You can have probably three to six plans. What I suggest is keep it very like uh, less in the options so that you don't give your clients cold feet in selecting between chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. So make sure that you give them limited options, give them the accurate options so that they can pick and choose the right plan and then they get on board easily with you. Once, even if you have a smaller ticket program, it is better to promote it so that your clients can be onboarded first. They can get your training experience and then later on, you can upsell them with these programs. You can just share these program links with them with the in-app chat communications using the broadcast features and communi communicating with all of your customers at once. Uh, you can use those smaller ticket uh, or free programs to market your platform on your social media accounts like Instagram, Facebook, so that you can get more clients on board. With the help of these uh, the, the software, you need not have to invest a lot of time of yours. Your time is saved and you can address multiple clients at once. So now once you are done with strategizing your pricing and payment plans, the second thing is learning about how your clients will be onboarded. So as soon as these programs are curated, you have a website that we have provided to you already. You can find these plans in these payment plans page. Similar plans are visible in the app side as well, but it is recommended just use this plan space to promote your platform with your customers online. Probably when you're using social media accounts for marketing, they'll pick and choose whichever program they are interested in. They will select the specific payment pricing option. They'll be entering their email address, hitting on continue. They'll be entering their name, hitting on continue. And based on whichever payment gateway you connect to your program, to, to your CRM, like Stripe or PayPal, your clients will be able to see that particular checkout page. They'll be entering the card details and the end. Here, it'll be visible to them for the PayPal 
if you have connected Stripe, then the link will be redirecting them automatically to Stripe's checkout page where they can enter the card details and complete the payment. As soon as your clients make the purchase, a welcome email will be triggered to them automatically on their registered email address. With this welcome email, they can just click on the link and I'll use a sample mail for your reference. This is the email that your clients will be receiving. You can make sure you can customize it with adding your pictures here, changing the subject line, changing the wording, or you can have a default template as well. Something like, the this one so that your clients can just click on that set password button and get redirected I'll second for that second sorry for that guys The screen was not sufficient for me to show you this. Now it is good. So your clients will be redirected to this particular checkout page, wherein they'll be entering their passwords, hitting on continue. The password is set. Then they'll be seeing this QR code. If you are on a super pro plan, then your clients will be see, getting your white label links here in these buttons or in this QR code. If you're on a pro plan, then you will your clients will be redirected to the Fitbird client application. For Android users, it'll be Android. For Google users, uh, for Apple users, it'll be iOS. That's it. Once your clients download your app, they log in with the registered email address that they used while checking out the payment plan and the password that they have created. As soon as they log in, first thing that will be visible to them will be the onboarding questionnaire. There's something that they'll be answering, the name, date of birth and everything. This is specific for the paid customers, for the active customers. If there is any lead who simply downloads the app and it is only for Super Pro, which has white label application. If you are generating leads on your side, then we have made sure that they'll only give you one answer, their name, and then explore the application, then take a decision to purchase the payment plan. In the next onboarding journey in the process, once your client completes this onboarding form, based on the payment plan that they have selected and based on your triggers that you automated. If there is any automation which is enabled, then they'll be receiving an automated program that you'll be assigning. I'll be talking about this segment while I'll be talking about assigning the programs. Uh, there are two types in assignment of the program, which is manual as well as the other one will be the automation. If your clients just purchase the program, without automation, you will find their profile in the plans to assign section. From here, you will be assigning your clients to a specific program. I will get on this particular segment once I have completed the fitness and nutrition part. As, as of now, I completed the payment plans and the customer onboarding journey. If there is any question related to this specific topic, then please write it down in the chat box so that I can answer it to you. Any questions? Okay, perfect. No questions. 
moving ahead once the payment plans are done and the client onboarding is done the main essential part here is for you to create your programs this is the content that you are selling off to your customers in the fitness segment on your dashboard you will be seeing exercise library uh there are multiple platforms which will help you to create qr codes on google you can find any of those uh, to create it because you simply need to use that link and that particular software will be creating a qr code for you just browse it on google you will find it but there is nothing specific on our platform francisca will we be able to look at this video again is it recorded yes it is recorded it will be available in the next three to four working days or however it is available our team will be uploading it on youtube okay moving ahead with the fitness part in the exercises library you will be seeing a database that we have provided to you we have 4000 plus exercises with interactive videos which gives you your clients the demonstration of the exercise. You can upload your own exercise demos as well from your system. You can upload a YouTube link as well. Or if you have a Vimeo account, you can connect your Vimeo account following these instructions and uploading your uh, Vimeo link here. And it will be accessible. You can also manually create exercises of your own if there are any missing exercises that you think you can simply draft and create all these exercises like barbell bench press though we have these all exercises available in our database already you can create all of this from scratch as well if you would like you can select the equipment that is required, the machines that are required, or anything else that is required, and select and inform the giving your clients a more detailed uh, idea of the muscle groups that you are targeting and uh, the target area. Sorry, the target area description of this exercise if you would like to add anything upload a demonstration video of your own or use again any of these options to create it completely manual from your uh, dashboard directly or else you can simply use all these 4000 exercises and customize it with your video demonstrations if you want to if not you can use these gifts which are more aesthetic in itself with the help of this exercises library, you guys will be creating workouts, something like this. These are daily workouts that you'll be creating. There are two types of workouts. One will be the structured workout. The other world will be the follow along video workout. In the structured workout, you will be creating a proper structure, giving instructions of the specific exercise the reps, the amount of rest time, or the rounds or sets of these exercises. You can create multiple programs, like you can create circuits, you can create a regular workout, you can create superset, you can create triset, you can create drop set. It is up to you in these daily workout programs. To begin with, you simply need to click on the blue plus icon in the bottom of your screen, follow these instructions and click on next. Like for instance, let's say if you have decided that you're gonna create a four weeks program and this is the day one and week one of the program that you are creating. If you have that in your mind already or somewhere written down in a PDF document or a file, you can simply just use keywords like D1, W1, which refers to day one, week one, and then write the muscle group like chest and tricep, and then the program name. 
I'm using the generic terms. You can use your expertise in creating these terms. For the display name, you can just keep it chest and tricep if you would like. So that you can use this particular workout in multiple other schedules as well. And your client will only see if that it is chest and tricep workout program for the daily workouts. You can upload an image from your system, something like this. You can click on save. These images are the cover images that are reflected in your application for your client interface. You can select these type, intensity, you can write target calories, heart rate, all of these. This will make your workout program more aesthetic and uh, informative for your customers using the application. Once you are done with this, click on next. You will be able to see this panel wherein you can start creating all the exercises. You can start adding the exercises. If you click on add exercises, you will be finding your database and you will be finding the Fitbird library. Here you can search for all of these exercises that you would like to assign. You, you will be seeing this in alphabetical order. So you will see all the equipment's name first, band, barbell, dumbbell, cable, all of it related to the exercise that you're searching for. And you can select the one that you want. Like I'll go with barbell bench press. Whenever you are adding it, it shows add to my library. Once you have added to your library, it will show you as select existing if you have already imported it. So I'll just use create new add to my library. I'll go with another exercises as well, like incline. So I have those options already in my list. I'll, I'll choose decline as well, incline. If there is anything else, like wide bench press, search for these exercises like this, type it down. For tricep, you can just search for tricep exercises. We can start with the cardio part. Whenever you're done with adding all these exercises the way I did, make sure that you are unchecking add as a group if you, were, if you would like to create a full structured program. Once you are done with all these exercises, just click on save. This way, you will be able to create a daily workout targeting chest and tricep muscle. Now here, you will be defining the sets of each exercise and the reps or the tracking field of each exercise. You can select the number like four sets of barbell bench press in a fixed rep count of maybe 12 reps each set. Or you can use a range set of maybe eight to 12 reps and then enable the secondary tracking. If you would like, you can specify the target weight for your customers. If not, you can choose to keep it disabled. You can also use tempo, which is eccentric pause and concentric pause. If you are that pro trainer, if you need this specific feature, then you can just use it. This will be reflecting in your client application. If it is not used, just, just skip it. Just click on save. Once you have defined your client's rounds, the sets and the rep, you can define the rest as well selecting the amount of rest that they are supposed to take after each set. Similarly, you can add a note explaining any instructions that you would like to deliver to your customers who are performing this particular exercise. 
you do the do these things for all of these segments in each exercises and you're good to go. That's it. Other parts will be you can import a ready-made segment from any other workout that you have created. Like for instance, I have one for four weeks. I can select these ones or I'll just genuinely choose actual one. Okay, this one. So you can select the segments that you would like, like superset, I have some here. And import it from the ready-made workouts already that you have. You will see them here on your screen. Uh, the YouTube channel name is Fitbird app and Michelle, is that a good place to put it? You can put a warm-up prior to the workout, but I suggest creating a warm-up workout separately and then assigning a full-fledged program will give them the idea and they can differentiate between a warm-up and the actual workout. So you can have a warm-up set if you would like to add it. Instead, you can just go with cardio if you want. So once you are done importing in all of this, you can click on save. Your program is ready for that particular day. Now you can just proceed forward to create cardio segments similar to the workouts. Here, when you are talking about like let four weeks of program and you just created day one, and if you are creating and providing your clients five workouts each week for the next four weeks and all the workouts are different, they are not similar, then you need to count how many workouts you're supposed to create. That means if you're providing five workouts each week for four weeks, you're supposed to create 20 workouts in your workout library. Each workout will be a day-to-day -day workout. And then later you need to add and compress them in one proper schedule which will become your program that you will be assigning to your clients manually or with the help of the payment plan automation that I was talking about. Going back on this part, before I jump into schedules, I would like to talk about the cardio segment. Cardios, there are two types of cardio segments. One is low intensity, the other one is high intensity. You can use this cardio as a warm-up routine for your customers as well. You can just provide a cycling cardio initially before you assign a workout in the schedule. In low intensity, you have these options, target calories, distance, duration. In high intensity, you have the number of rounds, the duration, the warm-up, the cool-down timings, the high intensity uh, ratio of your heart rates, the minimum and maximum heart rate, and steady state heart rate and the description of what you're trying to achieve with this cardio. Something like this will be visible to you. Like 20 minutes duration of 15 rounds, 2 minutes for warm-up, 40 seconds at 140 to 160 beats per minute, and steady state will be 20 seconds. So all of this will be learned and viewed in the client tab. They'll be understanding, understanding it and performing it accordingly. For low intensity, they are supposed to balance out a heart rate of 110 per beats per minute for a duration of 30 minutes. Once you are done creating workouts and cardios, you need to move ahead in the schedule segment and you need to create programs like this for yourself so that you can sell off these programs to your clients. To begin with, you simply need to click on this plus icon, enter the reference name, four weeks program, display name, enter the description, add a picture, something like this. Click on next. You will see a schedule panel here. In the schedule durational duration panel, you select the duration that you will be picking up. Click yeah. on apply. And you will be able to see specific days has plus cycle beside it. You search for your program name.
and it will be visible in the list of these workouts. So it is, if you notice, when I search these keywords, all the workouts that I used in the reference name started to pop up. If I wanted to pick a actual one, I need to make sure that the keywords that I'm using in the reference name section are something that I, I know, which I can later use easily to create this kind of programs. If I'm selecting day one, week one, all the day one, week one options will be popping up for me. If I'm selecting day two of week one, then options of day two, week one will be visible if I will create any. Mm, okay. So I'm selecting day two and all these exercises are here. I'll just add these exercises, assuming this is day three, day four, day five, day six, sorry, day five, just click on save. And you can simply drag and drop each workout in each day. And for the rest days, you can simply choose to switch off the toggle. You can have it back to back, or you can make sure that you have alternate workouts of your choice. You are going to follow this entire routine for each week as well. If you are providing different workouts in each week. If you're providing same similar workouts on each week for the next four weeks, you can simply copy your workout and paste it. Once you are done, you can just click on save. So your program will be created like this. You can create as many programs as you want on your side. The program will be visible to your clients when you will be assigning it to them. Any questions so far in the fitness section of your dashboard? Any questions? Perfect. No questions. Moving ahead. Now, in terms of nutrition. So similar features are provided in the nutrition library as well for you so that you can easily browse through the database libraries that we have provided. In the nutrition segment, we have provided for you the food-based data, uh, food database, wherein you can search for any food item and all the items that are available in our database will be visible on your screen. And you can select the appropriate one for yourself. You can customize these macros and calories. Though these are accurate, you can make sure that you can have another custom serving options and define how much is the serving equal to. And then you can just click on add to your library. So it is not needed for you that you do all of this in the food item exercise, uh, uh, food item database. You can simply go in the meal plans like you have visited in the workout segment and start creating these kind of meal plans. The meal plans can be a daily meal plan, which is a single meal plan. It can be assigned throughout the entire duration for your customers. Or you can choose to use these simple meal plans, the single ones, and create a full-fledged meal schedule for your customers. The choice is up to you completely. To begin with, there are two types of meal plans that you can create. One is the food-based meal plan. The other one is macro-based meal plan. Food-based meal plan will be something wherein you are defining the meal category, the food item, and the serving sizes. Macro-based meal plan will be something like this, wherein you're defining the meal category and the number of calories they're supposed to consume with number of macros that you want them to consume with an additional attachment if you would like. This attachment will be opened up in the application for your customers. Then they can refer to this uh, attachment and choose to log the foods that they will be consuming with their choice. Since you're not defining 
any specific food item to your customers. You have a recipe library as well that you can create. All these recipes are supposed to be created manually as of now because we don't have a database that is attached. Yes, Raymond, you can. Sorry for the last click. Is there an option to add speed and agility to us? Uh, currently, you can use speed in your fitness workout segment. They are just with the help of distance. But specifically speed, you can just drop a request to our uh, support team on support at fitbit.com or use the chat with us section and submit your feature request. Our developer team will be looking into it and they'll be uh, updating you if that feature can be developed and provided to you. If not instantly, we'll make sure that in our future developments, future updates, we will have that particular feature which you will be requesting. So please proceed, Daniel, and write an email to the support team with your feature request for speed and agility drills. To add a PDF document while you are creating a meal plan, you simply need to scroll down and you have an upload document option. You enter the name of that document and you upload a document. That's it. It'll be visible to your customers. You need to fill up this form to create your specific meal plan, be that a food-based or macro-based. I'll quickly use demo as my words. Upload an image from your system. and click on done. Once you have created your template, just click on add meals, start adding the meal categories, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, let's say meal one or snack one, snack two. Now start adding the food-based options in add more options here. Just click on add more, select your food, Fitbird food database. We have 1 million plus food items here. Search for the relevant one with breakfast. You start with eggs or oats, let's say oats. You select the specific one of your choice. Okay, sorry for that. Eggs. Oats, mm, and uh, maybe nuts or berries. Any other food item that you would like, just choose your food options, click on save. Do this exercise completely for lunch, dinner, snack, snack too. Here in the serving boxes, you simply define your servings. Now, you, when I was creating this, I mistakenly selected serving. I can select large or I can select medium. So I can just choose, uh, choose three serving. In oats, I can choose one cup or I can define it in grams. For berries, I can have it like one cup of berries. Simple. These custom options can be only created when you were adding a food option. For example, mm, say, let's say yam. You add, add custom serving. You select the specific options from this drop down. One slice is equals to, let's say, 15 grams. Let's add to your library. Let's click on save. Based on whatever you have selected, the calories and the macros will be calculated automatically. 
So you follow this particular workout, this exercise in creating your nutrition parts. Once you are done clicking on uh, creating it, just click on save. You can import meals from other meal plan option as well. Like you imported exercise segments from other parts of the workouts that you have already created. Let's say like this. Just import it and you're good to go. I'll just delete the ones that I'm not using as of now to save my time. So this way you define the food based meal plan options. Once you are done, click on save. And your meal plan is created. Now you can choose to use this particular meal plan to assign it automatically to your client and they can follow it for like month to month or week to week basis. Or you can choose to create a specific meal schedule out of it. So you can create multiple meal programs like that. Meal plan one, meal plan two, day one meal plan, day two meal plan of your choice. And then add, compile them in this particular program. To do that, click on this plus icon, enter the name. Add a picture, click on next. Same pattern here. Decide the duration, seven days meal plan, okay, or else one month, select it, select one month, apply, one month is added, click on plus, and then here you will be able to select the meal plan that you have created. Simply add meal plans each on these options. Here you can see, you need to click on each meal plan. You cannot add all the meal plans at once in a day and drag and drop it because a meal plan can not be added. Like two meal plans should not be added. That is the ideology behind it. Once you are done adding it, deciding whatever you want your clients to choose from, you can simply use copy feature and paste feature to copy paste the meal plan for the rest of the month and you can simply save it or you can choose to auto repeat all weeks so you can have it the schedule in a week to week basis auto repeat all weeks simple and click on save all these features help you to create this kind of program now you can assign these program to your clients. Any questions related to your nutrition library? Okay, I have, I hope Michelle, I showed you how you can add the PDF. So that's all cool, right? Next one is how can I send the link to my client? I just close. Uh, what kind of link you would like to share with your customers? You would like to share the payment plan link for them to purchase and close the deal. Then you can simply click on payment plans. See this forward icon. It gives you a copy link option. You copy this link, send it to them in the group chat, in the chat or on the broadcast or indirectly. However, you're communicating with them. If you're communicating through your in-app messaging, then just paste the link and send that link to your clients. Your clients can click on that link and they'll be redirected to the program for them to purchase it. You can choose the same copy link option and market it on your social media platform as well. Uh, Natalie, the time will not permit me to talk about the challenges feature, but what we have decided is we will be going with the add-ons in each webinar that I'll be conducting from this moment onwards. Today, I'm covering Explore. In the next webinar, I'll be covering the challenges. Okay. Uh, but these features are not available to uh, most of the coaches on other plans. It is available on specific program as well that I'll be discussing when I'll be introducing this feature to everybody through my webinar. Uh, if you would like to just understand it more, I would love you to have on 
a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our uh, support teammates and they'll give you a walkthrough. Now we are done with the payment plans, the fitness part and the nutrition part. I hope these things are covered. If there are any questions, you can drop me a chat. I will answer those questions for you. Okay, Jean. Fitbit plan is set up for me to have 20 clients. I think every new client I get is an addition to my current plan. I can offer my first. We have different program, Jean, on our platform. If you are targeting 1,000 clients, then we have elite program for you to refer. You can schedule a call with one of our teammates where you need not have to pay $2 additional for your clients. You can choose this particular option. There is a lot many features in this elite plan. Please uh, request for pricing and schedule a call with one of our teammates. And they'll give you a walkthrough of this. And you will you can have uh, conversations and discussions regarding the price point of that particular program for you. Okay. Thank well, you're welcome. You're welcome. Perfect. Uh no other questions. Cool. How many clients qualify you for elite? For elite. Natalie, uh, if you have 100 clients and plus, you can go with the elite program. You have a different price points to it. You can discuss this pricing options. These are custom pricing options. Uh, you can discuss with our, our teammate whenever you schedule a call. You just click on request for pricing and book a call. Or if you need a link, just drop a chat from your dashboard. Send a chat to one of our teammates. And then they will be able to send you the link so that you can schedule a call with our colleague. Okay. Perfect. No other questions, I believe. So moving ahead, now I'm talking about the assignment part. Once I think because the time I took was not as I decided. I thought I would complete it. But again, a detailed demonstration is important while we are on this webinar with 31 participants. So I believe uh, I will quickly jump to the explore add-on once I'm completed with the assignment part. And then later on, there are other parts which we can be covered. Okay. So to onboard a client, now you are done with your price points. You have your payment plan strategy. Second, you have created your fitness program. Third, you have created your nutrition programs. You are good to go now. You can start promoting your payment plans. So once you start promoting your payment plans and you onboard your clients, for people who are on super pro plan, who can use automation, who can on pro plan as well, who can use automation, they can simply click on automation and select a specific workout program or a series of conditional programs for your customers. Like if you want this specific get shredded program that you built up and you have built it up for like two types of categories. One is the male audience. The other one is the female audience. You can select yes as the condition format, select a specific question that you would like to choose and select the answer from your side and click on done. Do this workflow again to specify the other category and then make sorry, and then make one program as a default program so that since if there are no other options available this will not happen in this particular format, but let's say if there are other options, your clients are skipping or anything, then the third program that you'll be assigning as a default program will become as a fallback plan and they'll receive it automatically on their side. This goes similarly with the nutrition. You can choose 
the BMR based meal plan option or a single meal plan option that I or uh, that we were talking about in the nutrition segment or a meal schedule option that you want your clients to choose from. You can even add conditions to it. If you don't want to add conditions, just select no. You can add supplement. Supplement is again provided in the nutrition part. I have not discussed this. You can simply create your supplement here with links to the affiliated programs if you have any or your e-commerce website if you have any and create supplement plans with the help of that library. And then you can choose this plan while you are assigning the automation part. Once you are done assigning it, decide, uh, assign the water intake suggestion, set the daily activity targets, and just enable the automation. As soon as you enable the automation, you will see this thunder lightning board, which means that it includes automation schedule. So whoever purchases from today onwards, they will automatically receive any of this program based on their onboarding questionnaire. That because those are the conditions for this program. That's it. This is one way of assigning a program to your clients. The other way will be if there is no automation enabled, you will find those clients in plans to assign section here. When you select the profile, the profile will be visible here, but not active. It will be visible in this orange color instead of green color. And you will see assign schedule option. If you click on that button, you will be redirected to schedule editor here. Now, let me just delete my existing schedule. Okay. When you will be entering on this screen, you will be seeing add workout program, which shows import schedule or add a workout. You can choose to import the workout that you have created. And that's it. The entire workouts, the next four weeks will be added to your customers. Similarly, you can do the same thing for, I'll just unlink it, sorry. Yeah, for the meal plan. You see add meal option and you select either a single meal plan, as I said you, which will be added on each day automatically or you can choose sorry. Or you can choose to manage a proper schedule by selecting add import meal schedule and different meal, whatever you have created in that schedule will be assigned to your client on each day basis. Or the last option is you can choose to assign a BMR based target to your clients. BMR base is based it's a macro based calculation which is calculated automatically based on your client's BMR. We use Harris uh, Benedict equation to calculate the BMR. You can test it out on your side. If you think this is accurate for your client, you can just keep it automated or else you can specify the target calories manually if you would like. And then click on done. This will be assigned to your clients for the entire duration until you go back and change it. That's it about the nutrition part. Similarly, the water suggestions, you enable the target, you enter the number and activity targets. You set the targets by the numbers that are required. Five miles distance, five flights, 500 calories to burn throughout the day, something like that. And you can lastly click on this plus icon here and add supplements. If there is any rest day supplement, you can just add a rest day supplement and click on save. So if there is any rest day in your schedule like this, then another supplement will be added to your client. That's it. This is how you assign the program to your client. Once you are done, just save and close. That's it. Now your clients, you will be seeing activate option in this plans to assign section manually. Once you click on activate, your clients will be visible in the active client section as I am visible in this segment.
Here you can chat with your clients, manage their progress, track their workouts, see what they have uh, logged on their side, how much time they took to complete it, how many calories they consumed, what specific food item they consume. You will see it here. How many steps they worked. Like if you have assigned 10,000, they walk 4,000 4, steps, 3,000 steps, whatever. You will see all of these details here in this section. This way you can keep a track of your client's fitness uh, routine on a day-to-day -day basis. Any questions so far? Okay, I have ongoing schedule where I give everyone who is on that schedule it's every four weeks. Jani, I suggest you to go with the Explore On Demand library that I will be taking up right away. So just wait for one minute. It's a 20 minutes pre-recorded session so that I can give you a brief walkthrough. This feature will be helping you a lot. This way you need not have to create multiple four week schedule. You simply can give an open library to your clients and your clients can access it, pay, their, pay you a month to month subscription fee. And that's it. You don't have to assign anything every single time. Yes, clients can track their calories and macros in the client application. That specific topic is covered in other webinars. I will, uh, I'll have to reduce the webinar today and I will be talking about the explore on demand library. I'll play up the pre-recorded video to explain you all of this. Just allow me one minute for that. So just bear with me. This particular feature that I am introducing right now in this webinar is an add-on on our platform for pro and super pro uh, trainers. You can use this explore on-demand library to Make sure that you have a time efficient. You can customize uh, your time to invest in multiple other segments just by automating the entire application for yourself. So uh, the next screen that I'll be playing is... Please confirm if you guys are able to see my screen. I hope you're able to see it. Yes, perfect, perfect. So this is the Explore On Demand library that I'll be playing up for you guys. I have pre-recorded it so that I'm not wasting a single second here. Welcome to Fitbit. Today we are talking about the Explore feature. This on-demand tool is specifically designed for fitness trainers, offering a new way to sell your fitness content directly to clients. With Explore, you can create and sell pre-recorded workout programs. Workout collections. Nutrition programs. Recipes, recipe collection with enhanced innovative video demonstrations. <laughs> Details, ingredients, and instructions to prepare. Along with it, a wide range of fitness related content in the form of videos, external links, or documents. To redirect your clients to your e-commerce website or affiliated websites. 
let's talk about the benefits. First, you gain flexibility in your work schedule. With this particular feature, you can provide a fully loaded fitness library on your app without the need for in-person sessions. That means your clients can access the programs anytime, anywhere from their application. Next, this particular feature helps increase your reach in client base. You can sell your content to clients globally, potentially growing your client base across the globe, increasing numbers of clients on your app. Another significant benefit is the opportunity for increased income. By setting up payment plans, you can define what access you want to provide to your clients. Based on it, your clients will be able to see it based on the purchase of the plan. Let us start navigating. And let's dive into adding your fitness schedule. To get started with, first you need to have your master libraries created with your workout programs and your nutrition programs. Once you have created this, you can jump to the explore page and start creating collections or categories which will be displayed for your customers in the client application. To begin with, you can simply click this plus icon in the center column or click on add schedule collection. You'll be able to see collection and categories. Collection is a segment where you can organize your content and represent as a photo grid. Whereas a category is a group of collections, probably sub collections instead of a collection represented as either photo grids or tags. So to begin with, let us create the collection. Enter the name of the collection that you want to create. For example, I would like to create a program, one more program. Write the description here. Include an image which will be represented within the application. Click on next. Select the specific program that you want to create. You can search it with the search bar. Select the specific one. Click on save. Once you have uploaded the required programs, enable the collection. You can add categories as well similarly for example one more program will be programs click on next start adding you can select a specific one save it or add more create a sub collection <laughs> an image, click on next, select a specific program, click on set, select that specific sub collection, click on save. This way you can provide a collection or a sub collection to your customers. This becomes your collection, the other one becomes your sub collection. You can reorder this sections as per your choice. Similarly with the workouts, you can choose to create collection or categories of your choice. For example, upper body workout collection. Enter the description. You would like to enable this particular collection as free basically for leads so that they can test it out your content in the app you can simply enable this collection as free if you're creating it for your paid customers you can simply not select this option upload the thumbnail of your choice click on next and select the specific collection for upper body Just save. Once done, enable the collection. This way, you will be able to create your content library for your customers.
moving ahead with the nutrition segment. A similar feature helps you provide and manage the nutrition content for your customers. You can simply click on add meal collection option here. Create collection. Write the name. Enter the description. Add a picture. And start adding the specific program of your choice. You can then enable this particular collection. So you can see, your clients can see all this particular plan in your site. You can do the same thing for the recipes. You can simply enable the entire recipes that you have in your dashboard so that your clients can browse through these recipes. Or you can create sub collections or collections out of it. Like example, breakfast collection. You can upload multiple other images of your choice. Select the specific recipes. That's it. Enable the collection. This way you'll be able to provide meal plans and recipes to your clients in the application. I'm talking about resources. Resources is an additional space that you can provide for your customers within the app where you can upload the files in the format video format or URL link, which can be used as a purchase link for any third party platform or your e-commerce website like Shopify. A document which your clients can refer within the application or a video format. A video format can be created with the help of the same display name. Display names are for your customers to refer in their application. Reference name is for you to refer it on your dashboard. You can upload a media file directly from your computer and upload a thumbnail of it. That's it. Once you are done uploading it, click on done. You'll be able to create a video file. You can create sub collections of all these resources. Again, in the similar fashion as a collection or a category. For instance, you can have documents which you would like your clients to refer. Write the name of the collection, description of the collection, and upload the thumbnail. Click on next. Select the specific documents and click on save. Once done, enable it. So now your clients will be able to see a photo grid collection of your documents. In similar fashion, you can proceed with adding multiple other collections and categories for a video files or the URLs. In fact, you can even create a full fledged supplement collection, supplement library collection, redirecting your, your clients to your affiliated websites or your e-commerce websites, as I showed you earlier. That's it with your explore workout library, nutrition library, and other fitness related resources library. Moving ahead with configuration of all of the segments, you have the ability to customize and configure the access of your content library for your customers based on their payment plan. For that, click on configurations. If you would like to proceed, please keep a note. By default, all your paying customers will be able to see the workouts, nutrition, and resources library. And you can enable or disable the preview for the non paying customers so that they can see the explore library, but the, but the content will be logged inaccessible for them in the application, prompting them to purchase any of the payment plans.
you can set a payment plan access if you don't want all the paying customers to see the entire content by just clicking on set up payment plan access selecting a specific payment plan and configuring the access by clicking on the drop down here you can select partial access select the option for instance all workouts disable nutrition if you don't want to provide nutrition provide any partial access for resources and click on that that's it you can proceed by clicking on three dots on the right hand side and add more plans and play around with the configuration here once you have selected all the payment plans as required or the specific payment plans the other payment plan options that are those customers who are manually added on your system on your side or those customers who are on payment plans which are not added or configured here you can configure the access from here by just clicking the edit icon and disabling it or enabling it or providing any virtual access of the sources section like this. So that's it with the configuration. Once this is done, you can play around with the names of the titles that will be reflected on the explore library on your client application. You can edit, change the page title, bar title, subtitle title. The page title will be reflected on the top left of the screen in the client app. The tab bar title will be reflected in each segment of the workouts or nutritional sources. There will also be a separator title which will differentiate between the schedule and the workout. That means programs and workout collections and the main app bar title. You can play around with all of this. Check it out on your side of the app and publish it for your customers. This is all about the explore on demand library for your dashboard as a trainer. Moving ahead, we'll be discussing in the next segment, the client app interface of the explore on demand library and how your clients will be able to access it in their application on their side. Now let us talk about the explore on demand library in the client app. On the client interface, the explore library can be accessed by clicking on the explore tab at the bottom of the screen. Here your clients will be able to see three main sections, the workout section, the nutrition section, and the resources section. In these sections, your clients will find the categories and collection that you have designed in your Fitbit dashboard. These categories and collections can then be assigned by your clients, allowing them to perform workouts or follow the nutrition plans as per your setup by simply clicking on Add Schedule option. Starting with the workout segment, here your clients can select a workout program either from the categories that you have designed like the specific one that they select from there with their choice by clicking on add to schedule and then they can just add it to their schedule. The program will be successfully added to their schedule. They can see it on the home page.
or they can choose to start a workout in the explore library by simply selecting the workout and clicking on start once they mark this particular workout as complete this workout will be visible on the home page of your clients for that particular day now talking with the nutrition part it was similar to the workouts wherein your clients can select the specific meal program and update it to their schedule from their choice and the program will be added on the app for themselves to access it or they can choose a recipe and add the recipe to their program in the logs you can see your clients can simply view the log recipe in the tracker talking about resources the resources section is your space to provide your clients with additional support or content of your choice you can include links to supplement stores like this or pdf documents that they can refer to or video collections that they can play in their application all of this content can be accessed by your clients at their convenience in conclusion the explore on demand library is a very powerful tool for your clients to take control of their workout nutrition while accessing valuable resources it not only enhances their experience but also allows them to manage their schedules and goals more effectively with these features you can deliver a more personalized and flexible experience that keeps your clients engaged and motivated throughout their fitness journey that was all about the explore on demand library and with that said i will conclude my webinar and take the questions if you guys have any about this feature or anything re regarding your dashboard the most important features were discussed in this particular webinar for you and for uh, you to get started if there is anything specific that you have in your mind just please drop a chat to me okay jenny so if clients are on a workout schedule can they add another workout schedule so that they are both visible on their home screen jenny they cannot add two workout schedules from the explore library they can add one schedule and they can assign another workout from the workout collections if you are creating a workout schedule which have multiple workouts on each uh, day then they can choose that particular work workout schedule and they will see multiple workouts getting assigned to them on specific day hope that answers the question any questions guys old plan names was a new plan names gold platinum versus pro super pro yeah we just uh, revamped our uh, plans names and pricing structure the gold is now a super pro the elite uh, is was a platinum one earlier so yeah whichever plan you were already into you would be continuing uh, continue to use this other the the previous plans as well with old prices definitely
Any other questions, guys? Please bring out the questions so that I can answer you. Yeah, personal question, Michelle. I believe my final setup with Google Play Store is completely not sure if I need to install the app. Uh, once your apps are developed on your app, like app stores, you can reinstall your your white label application. You need to uninstall, or maybe you can just log out from the Fitbird application. You can use the same credentials. Your clients can use the same credentials to access your white label application. You're welcome. Any other questions, guys? You bring out any questions that you have. You don't have to answer this if you don't want to. Curious how many clients coaches Fitbit has enjoy at, at meeting with many others to go with you guys. So uh, we we have almost 5,000 plus uh, trainers on our platform and we are growing. So yeah, if you can refer us to your friends, colleagues, uh, we have referral programs as well. You can take the benefit out of it. So we want to reach as many as coaches as we can. Thank you. Uh, you have a refer and earn option on your dashboard that you can refer to. I have, I can show it to you. One second. Okay. So here you can just click on refer and earn. Send the details. You have it all. Earn hundred dollars or five hundred dollars. Just select whichever is specific. Enter the your trainer's name, the contact number. Select the specific country they are on. And just submit the form, or you can just use this referral. One second. I have a link. If you are not a Fitbit user and you want to still refer and earn through our referral program, then you, you have this link that we have provided. I can, uh, our team can send it in the chat for you guys. There you go. We are working on that, uh, Coach. We will be creating a referral program for you guys as well uh, in the future. So yes, allow us some more time and we'll get that as well. Gift cards for Canada. Yeah, you have it all. Just refer to your colleagues across the globe, wherever they are, you will receive 100 US dollars. So we have this uh, referral programs. You can refer as many as you want. There is no end to it. So if you are referring 12 coaches and if you're on an old $99 program with us, you can just wave off your uh, $100 fee. Yes. Okay. Just connect with uh, our marketing team. Uh, Ashwarya, can you just take up with Magenta's request? She has, she received US Amazon gift card. She needs, I guess, Canada, Canadian Amazon gift card, I guess. If I'm not wrong, just connect with our team, Magenta. Just send a email. Yeah, send uh, send an email to our marketing team, or just send it to support at fitbit.com. We will read directly to our team. They'll give you a resolution on this. Okay, guys, uh, lovely chatting with you guys as always and lovely to introduce many more features. We have multiple other features. In the next webinars, I'll be uh, taking up other add-ons, group classes, uh, features that we have. And uh, I will hopefully reduce the time frame so that you are not getting bored uh, out of the webinar by sitting constantly. If you guys have any questions, Queries need help in anything, we are here for you. There is a chat with us section. Just drop us a message. We will respond to you based on our current turnaround time. Our turnaround time varies. Sometimes it's eight hours, eight hours, but mostly we are very proactive. 
in the working time zone, especially in the US Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I think coaches, you don't have any questions for me. So I will take a leave. If there is any last question, please drop it in the chat. Any any last questions? Okay. How do we access challenges? Natalie, just book a call with me. We will talk about it. I will show you that particular feature in detail. Just uh, drop a chat as always to the support team. They will send you the link. You're welcome, Jean. How to book a call to do challenges? Uh, schedule a support call. Our support team will be giving you a walkthrough with challenges. They'll explain you how it, it looks like, what that feature is all about. Thank you, Jean. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, everybody. Uh, this particular feature is only available on the elite program as of now. Clients, if you are managing 100 plus clients or something, then you will be able to access this. It is not available as an add-on yet. But if you're talking about the elite plan, if you schedule a call with the elite uh, plan executive, he will give you a walkthrough of these challenges.